I think it's important that we spend time for a moment to look at ventilating of your roof space. Insulation and ventilation is like bread and butter. The one complements the other. With us installing the roof insulation and with the foil reflecting 93% of that radiant heat, you will find that all that heat is trapped inside the roof space. So ventilating your roof space is critical. Now there's various ways of ventilating your roof space. The one product which we recommend and, and are comfortable with is the Tornado Extractor. The other option is by doing the air bricks, the bricks with a hole that gives it, that's installed on the side of the house to give you that ventilation um, through the roof space. Um, a lot of people feel that it gives their houses an industrial look. What we've done with this house in particular is we've installed it on the back side of the roof. So you can see it's below the roof knock. It's at the rear of the house, so you cannot see this extractor running from the front entrance of your house. The way that the Tornado works, we love this product. The only movement and extraction of, of air is the hot air and the natural rise of that hot air getting through the roof space and extracting that heat. Now, interestingly enough, the fins of this Tornado is designed in such a way that any rain is reflected away from that. We've had this tornado in this um, particular house for over a year and not once has there ever been an incident of water inside the house at all. Also when it's installed, it is sealed off properly and waterproofed and the tornado is designed in such a way that the natural downrun of the water runs past the tornado extractor. And then in winter again, when you want to try and retain that heat, it is as simple as just installing a cover over the tornado or just blocking off the, the vents on the side of your house and then open it up again in the summer months. But it is important to understand that there is a synergy between insulation and ventilation of your roof space.